And uh, you've been sharing your thoughts as well. Uh, various organizations and government officials have been responding on social media about the singer's assault. Here's a, a clip. Let's take a look at uh, what's, uh, what you've been saying. The first one from uh, ANC's Chief Whip, Jackson Mtembo, who says, hashtag arrest Manbinja. That's the only way of stopping Manbinja from continuing with his abuse of babes or Duma. If he's not arrested soon, he will definitely kill her. The economic freedom fighters said that the FF recognizes that up to now, interventions for dealing with violence against women have been superficial, half-hearted and based on the wrong understanding of the root causes of the vulnerability of women. Stop violence against women. And the next one, of course, from Minister Natim Tetra, who says, We absolutely horrified by the actions of Mambinja, who was caught on video where he brutally abuses internationally celebrated artist Babes Wodumo. We do not only condemn this senseless act, but call on Babes to immediately press charges against him. And uh, Simon says uh, domestic abuse is a sinister crime that uh, lurks in the shadows of many homes around our nation. Many people dare not speak its name. Many people look away. The bruises and the trauma hidden. The smiles disguise the pain. Well, we continue looking at uh, this uh, particular story and now we're joined uh, on the line by Bafana Kumalo, who's uh, from the Sonke Gender Justice. Thanks so much for joining us uh, on the program. Sadly, another disturbing story, disturbing incident uh, uh, filmed by a victim on social media. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, as we've had to digest what we've seen? Quite shocking, Peter. Um, but I, I, we think this is a call for help by babes. As we all know, there has been reported incidences of this nature in the past, and there's been attempts by the family to try and sort this matter out. Um, and we always say in the sector, this uh, in kind of interventions don't work because perpetrators, unless they realize that there will be accountability, they do not stop. And, and it's a very sad thing to say, but in this instance, you need the criminal justice to take its course. All right, so the EFF uh, shared a tweet just now, and they said that uh, part of the problem is that there's not enough understanding of the root causes of this kind of violence. And I saw some research from the Medical Research Council that said that 40% of men have admitted that they have beat their partners. I mean, it, this is an epidemic. It is an epidemic. Uh, it's premised, of course, in uh, what I call a patriarchal society where women count for nothing. Uh, and therefore, it's almost justifiable to do whatever you can do on women as a man. <clears throat> And we need, as South Africans, really to, particularly us men, to smell the coffee. Uh, it can't be business as usual. Uh, we've had a gender summit with the president where many commitments were made. Uh, the declaration has not yet been signed. The money that was promised to be put into this uh, has not uh, flowed to civil society organizations that are doing a lot of work to try and combat uh, this uh, dysfunction in our society. So we really need leadership. We need commitment beyond words uh, to see that we turn the tide against gender-based violence. All right. So everybody, I think, perhaps may know someone, especially if they're doing it, that they are doing it. Um, what do we do as a society? Because I think we can be outraged, we can tweet and we can, um, you know, be, be disgusted. But it seems as if nothing is changing and nothing is getting better. I think we need to stop first by justifying these acts. I mean, following Twitter myself, I was appalled by some of the statements that some men were uttering. You know, what did she do to him? She must have said something. You know, these kinds of comments create the kind of environment where perpetrators think it's okay to do this kind of acts. And so we need to be much more circumspect. You know, people like Babes Wodumo are caught in circumstances that sometimes are very difficult for them to I I extricate themselves from. And we need to be much more understanding. Instead of condemning, we should be supporting. We should really be listening to her. We should be saying to her, we'll provide you a moment for you to tell your story. 
so that we can see how we can accompany you. But for us as men, we need to hold each other accountable. Instead of talking in support of perpetrators, we need to be saying to them, what you are doing, you are not doing it in our name. We cannot fraternize with people like yourselves who continue to treat women like this because this is not acceptable. All right, and that's where we'll leave it. Thanks very much indeed. That was uh, Bafana Kumala from the Songket Gender Justice. Well, as